June the 22nd, 2020. As you're looking at NOAA's Wide Atlantic Satellite Imaging, these are current images from this morning, you can see as the sun rose. But uh, you're looking at this area called the Saharan Dust Clouds, and we see this every year. And they'll come off in waves. You see the first kind of largest wave of the year, and then the second. And they kind of match hurricane season, spring to fall is when they're the worst. It's when it's the hottest. And if you think about it, guys, you got grand solar minimum right now. Our shields are weak, and that's why we talk about it every year. The extreme sunburns that we felt uh, very quickly, your skin on fire in just a few minutes, and the damage to uh, a plant life, and, you know, even emergency room type sunburns it really it's getting bad because of that so you have to limit your exposure but when you apply that same heat to dry area conditions like we're seeing in africa where this is coming off of if there's any overnight moisture collected um in the deserts then it's baked off and the uh, sand is extremely dry and the, these uh east to or west to east, east to west currents excuse me blow this pick it up and blow it across the atlantic now, the reason we watch it, and many of you realize this, is that these dust clouds impede hurricanes. In other words, as the uh, storms try to form up, the moisture is absorbed into the dust. And these dust clouds can be a mile thick from the very bottom as you go up. And again, this one's the uh, strongest in 50 years. But uh, the moisture is absorbed into the sand itself some of the sand falls back to the surface or back to the surface of the ocean but a lot of the moisture is absorbed from the hurricane and so it really impedes their development it's kind of part of the natural process of things which we've seen with the uh, really wild weather the last few years both inland and uh, from hurricanes guys that things are different during grand solar minimum and so if you want to look at it in god's perfect balance if you're going to have the the hottest weather when the shields are really weak and that sun's penetrating, then you would need something to counter the size of these hurricanes. We've seen them very large in the last few years also. But uh, what they're talking about, and if you look in the center, along these islands, um, you may can look it up on Twitter. I've seen, I've heard about reports from it, but people taking pictures and it's a real yellow haze and they're wearing double mask and some are i guess maybe jokingly but probably not saying that uh, wearing one for the virus and one for the dust and it's uh, going to trigger breathing problems that's why i'm going and doing this video now as i go back um, into motion with the satellite imaging you can see that it's drifting now into the Caribbean, and they're expecting some tropical waves in this area. That will help absorb some of it in going into next week. We'll have to watch those. Now, so far, it's just, as far as you can see on the radar in the last few images, just south of Cuba. And it hasn't really gotten into the Gulf of Mexico, but this is expected to come into the southeast of the United States this week. And uh, this is the first one, and we've seen these things peak up up into August and then start dying back off. So we, that's something else to think about. But they're saying that the, again, pictures that people are taking and all, looks like a yellow haze sky, like uh, extreme pollution. And uh, you don't want to breathe a lot of this dust into your lungs. You know, the, especially if you get tested, there's no telling what they'll say you have. Now, scientists are starting to pay more attention to it each year, and in this article uh, was from today, it says a vast cloud of Saharan dust is blanketing the Caribbean as it heads to the U.S. with a size and concentration that experts say hasn't been seen in half a century. Air quality across most of the region fell to record hazardous levels, and experts were nicknamed, have nicknamed the event the Godzilla dust cloud, and they've warned people to stay indoors and you use air filters if they have one. This is the most significant in event in the past 50 years. This is from Pablo Mendez Lazaro, an environmental health specialist with the University of Puerto Rico. Conditions are dangerous, are dangerous in many Caribbean islands. Many health specialists who were concerned about those battling respiratory symptoms tied to COVID-19 really guys are any respiratory symptoms. 
Lazaro, who uh, is working with NASA to develop an alert system for the arrival of the Saharan dust, said the concentration was so high in recent days that it could uh, even have adverse effects on healthy people. So pay attention to this. And it would come into the U.S. Uh, in South Florida, starting in that area, but it can get into Texas. We saw that last year and move across the southeast. But it says um, extremely hazy conditions and limited visibility were reported from Antigua down to Trinidad and Tobago. And that was the islands I was pointing out. With the event expected to last uh, until late Tuesday, some people posted pictures. I talked about this as, of social me media uh, wearing double mask and uh, it looked like a yellow filter movie treatment. Jose Alamo a meteorologist with U.S. National Weather Service in San Juan, Puerto Rico, said the worst days for the U.S. territory would be Monday and Tuesday as the plume travels toward the U.S. southeast coast. The main international airport in San Juan was reporting only five uh, miles or eight kilometers of visibility. This extremely dry and dusty air known as the Saharan air layer forms over the Saharan desert and moves across the North Atlantic every three to five days. Now, I misspoke earlier because I read in another uh, article about uh, the debris or the cloud of dust being a mile wide. They're saying this one uh, is up to two miles wide. It can occupy roughly a two-mile thick layer in the atmosphere. Alamo said a small tropical wave headed to the Caribbean was expected to alleviate conditions by Thursday. And so as it does that, we will keep an eye on the tropics also, guys. But uh, we're watching this. Pay attention to it. If it starts getting hazy in there, they said even healthy adults can be affected adversely by this. So maybe uh, two reasons to have a mask if you have them. But we're watching again. It's a heads up. Be safe.